comes to the greatest wide receivers ever, a large chunk of them never got to experience winning the ultimate prize. Jerry Rice did, sure, but most of the guys right behind him on the all-time receiving leaders list fell short of the biggest prize in football. What's up, all you Quantumaniacs? I'm Daquan Young, and today we present the 10 best NFL wide receivers that never won a Super Bowl. Number 10, one of the NFL's top offensive players in the 80s, James Lofton certainly deserved a Super Bowl ring, or two, or three. An eight-time Pro Bowler, Lofton joined Jim Kelly's Buffalo Bills and had three chances to win a Super Bowl. The Bills lost four consecutive big games in the 90s, and Lofton retired as one of the greatest wideouts ever. Number nine, alongside Jim Kelly and Thurman Thomas, Andre Reid and the Buffalo Bills reached four straight Super Bowls at the start of the decade. But... As such, Reed, Thomas, and Kelly were among the three greatest NFL players that never captured a championship rank. Number eight, few guys who stand at five foot nine and weigh under 200 pounds ever make it big in the NFL. Smith and the Panthers reached Super Bowl 38, where they fell to the New England Patriots on a last second Adam Vinatieri field goal. Number seven, drafted third overall by the Houston Texans in 2003, Andre Johnson was everything the young franchise could have asked for. Having racked up seven 1,000 yard seasons, they got to the playoffs with him in 2011 and 2012, but they lost in the divisional round both times. He's a lock for the Hall of Fame, but it's a darn shame that he never came close to playing for a Lombardi trophy. Number six, the Seahawks only made the playoffs four times in Largest career. And they did reach the 1983 AFC Championship game, but they were blown out by the Los Angeles Raiders 30 to 14. The Seattle Seahawks legend was one of the few bright spots for a team that struggled for much of the 70s and 80s. Largent was a seven-time Pro Bowler and was the all-time leader in career receptions, touchdown catches, and receiving yards when he retired after the 1989 season. Number five, named to the 1990s All-Decade team, Brown was a nine-time Pro Bowler who helped the Raiders turn a corner in the late 90s. Brown revived the career of quarterback Rich Gannon, who won the 2002 NFL MVP award and guided the team to a trip to Super Bowl 37. The Raiders fell to the Buccaneers 48-21, Tim Brown would retire in 2004. Number four, after three seasons with the Philadelphia Eagles, Carter joined the Vikings in 1990, where he emerged as one of the greatest football players of the decade. The eight-time Pro Bowler formed a historically dominant offense with Randall Cunningham and Randy Moss in 1998. But of course, the heavy Super Bowl favorites choked in the NFC Championship game and lost to the Atlanta Falcons in overtime. Number three, just imagine what other records Megatron could have broken if the Lions were a half-decent team, his record of 1,964 receiving yards in a single season, set in 2012, may never be broken. The six-time Pro Bowler helped the Detroit Lions reach the playoffs in 2011 and 2014, but they went one and done both years. Johnson retired in 2015, even though he was only 30 years old. Number two, 1,078 career receptions, 15,934 receiving yards, 153 touchdowns, and no Super Bowl. After falling out of favor with the Niners in 2003, T.O. was dealt to the Philadelphia Eagles, and he and quarterback Donovan McNabb lit up the scoreboard time and time again, and the Eagles reached Super Bowl 39. Despite a big game from Owens, Philly lost 24-21 as the Patriots won their third title. Number one, the greatest wide receiver not named Jerry Rice had his fair share of chances at winning it all. Moss whose name became an actual verb, was on the legendary 98 Minnesota Vikings team that was one Gary Anderson kick away from playing in Super Bowl 33. He and Tom Brady rewrote the record books in 2007, and the Patriots won their first 18 games and looked poised to win Super Bowl 42. But Eli, Eli, Moss comes back for one more year in 2012, trying to win it all with San Francisco, just to lose to the Baltimore Ravens in Super Bowl 47 by a score of 34 to 31. Moss finished his career with 982 career receptions for 15,292 yards and 156 touchdowns. Very impressive numbers, yet it still wasn't enough to win a Lombardi trophy. Which other great NFL wide receivers didn't win a Super Bowl? Join us in the comment section below.